Project parameters are custom parameters that you define and add to multiple categories of elements in a project. They are specific to the project and cannot be shared with other projects. You can then use those project parameters in multi-category or single-category schedules. To define project parameters, on the Manage ribbon, in the Settings panel, click Project Parameters. Revit displays the Project Parameters dialog. In this project, there are already two project parameters. Occupant, which is already defined in the default Revit project template, and Exposure Orientation, which is a custom project parameter that has already been created. Select Occupant and then click Modify. Revit displays the Parameter Properties dialog. Here, you can see that the parameter type is read only. This is defined when you first create the parameter and cannot be changed. In the Parameter Data section, you can see and change the name of the parameter. The Discipline and Type of Parameter fields are read only. Again, these are defined when you first create the parameter and cannot be changed afterwards. You can see that the occupant parameter is a text parameter. So even if you were to enter a number, this parameter cannot be used in calculations. In the group parameter under drop down, you can specify the group in which the parameter will appear. Below that, you can see the tooltip description if one has been added. If a tooltip description has not been specified, it will read, No Tooltip Description. To add one, click Edit Tooltip. This displays the Edit Tooltip dialog, which is essentially a text box to add up to 250 characters to describe the parameter. To add a custom tooltip, simply replace the default text. The tooltip will then appear in the Parameter Properties dialog and when you hover your cursor over the parameter in either the Properties Palette or Type Properties dialog. This can help all team members better understand the parameter that you have created. Click Cancel to close the dialog without modifying the tooltip. Back in the Parameter Data section, you can see that Instance is selected, indicating that this is an Instance parameter so it will be included in each instance of each selected category. Again, this is read-only. Once you specify this when you first create the parameter, it can no longer be changed. Below Type and Instance are options pertaining to groups. They are only available when the parameter is set to Instance. And depending on the type of parameter, these options are either available or dimmed. Since the type of parameter is text, they are available. If you want the parameter to be the same for each instance of a group, you can select Values are aligned per group type. Additionally, if the parameter needs to vary between each instance of a group, select Values can vary by group instance. Leave this set to Values are aligned per group type for now. When you scroll down in the Categories list, you can see that the Occupant parameter is only applied to the Rooms category. Select Hide Unchecked Categories. Now only the selected categories appear. Each room will include an Occupant parameter. Click Cancel to close the Parameter Properties dialog. Select Exposure Orientation and then click Modify. Again, you can see that this is a project parameter along with its parameter data. Select Hide Unchecked Categories and you can see that this parameter is applied to curtain panels, doors, and windows. Click Cancel to close the dialog. In this project, in addition to tracking the exposure orientation, 
you may also want to track different glazing types. You can do this by adding another project parameter. In the Project Parameter dialog, click Add. Revit displays the Parameter Properties dialog. Since you are defining a new parameter, all of the fields are initially available. Since this is going to be a project parameter, make sure that in the Parameter Type section, Project Parameter is selected. Note that if you wanted to create a shared parameter, you could select Shared Parameter. In the Parameter Data section, in the Name field, enter Glazing Type. Leave the discipline set to common. When you expand the Type of Parameter dropdown, you can see all of the parameter types. Be aware that when this option is set to integer, number, length, angle, slope, yes no, or family type, the group options are not available. But when it is set to text, area, volume, currency, mass density, URL, material, or image, the group options are available. Leave this set to text. Expand the group parameter under drop-down and select Identity Data. This controls where the parameter appears in the appropriate properties dialog. And since you want to be able to control the glazing type separately for each instance, select Instance. Next, select Values are aligned per group type. Now click Edit Tooltip to open the Edit Tooltip dialog. Replace the default text with Specify Treatment and Layering of the Glass. You could also enter the specific values that could be entered, such as low E double pane, or instruct to refer to a specific glazing type schedule. Click OK to close the dialog. In the Categories list, since you want to be able to control the glazing type for several different categories that may include glass, select the checkboxes adjacent to Curtain Panels, doors, and windows. Notice that in the lower left corner, you can see that the project parameter you are creating will be added to all elements in the selected categories. Click OK to complete the creation of the new project parameter. You can see that it's been added to the project parameters list. Click OK to close the project parameters dialog. Now set some of the custom parameters. Zoom into the northeast corner of the building and select the four Type 1 windows on the north wall. In the Properties palette, the Exposure Orientation and Glazing Type parameters are both available. When you hover your cursor over the Glazing Type parameter, a tooltip appears that shows the parameter name along with the custom tooltip that you added. Click in the Exposure Parameter field and type North. To see the new project parameters in action, create a new schedule. In the Project Browser, right-click Schedules Quantities and choose New Schedule Quantities. In the New Schedule dialog, leave the category set to Multi-Category. Click in the Name field, name the new schedule Project Glazing Types, and then click OK. In the Schedule Properties dialog, in the Available Fields list, select Family and Type and add it to the scheduled fields. Do the same for Exposure Orientation and Glazing Type. Then, on the Sorting Grouping tab, expand the Sort By dropdown and choose Exposure Orientation. Then deselect Itemize Every Instance and click OK. Now you can see the new schedule. In order to specify the glazing type for all of these windows, click in the Glazing Type field and type A. 
You have just added information to components in this project by using two custom project parameters. 